Welcome aboard, train enthusiasts. Today we're talking about a different kind of adventure, one where you can ditch the GPS and let the steel wheels do the guiding. We're counting down the 20 most epic train journeys in North America, and believe me, some of these rides are so scenic you'd swear they were built by Mother Nature herself. We're talking mountain vistas, rugged coastlines, and deserts that'll make you wonder if you accidentally boarded a spaceship to Mars. And along the way, we'll dig into the history of these iron horses, the folks who keep them running, and the stories that make each journey unique. Don't forget to check out our shorts content for more bite-sized adventures. We're talking behind the scenes peeks at train yards, interviews with conductors who've seen it all, and maybe even a few train themed food challenges. Hey, a guy can dream, right? Think you can guess the number one spot? Stick around and find out. This ride's just getting started. First up, we're heading north of the border to tackle the Rocky Mountaineer. Now this ain't your grandpappy's train ride. Picture this, you're kicking back in a plush armchair, sipping on something bubbly while snow-capped peaks soar outside your window. This ain't just a train ride, it's an experience. And one of the things that sets the Rocky Mountaineer apart is its glass dome roof. That's right, folks, you get a panoramic view of the Canadian Rockies, no binoculars required. They even dim the lights at night so you can soak up every constellation in the sky. And the food? Forget those sad airport sandwiches. We're talking gourmet meals crafted with fresh local ingredients. Think wild salmon, Alberta beef, and maybe even some wild mushroom risotto, all paired with some of the finest wines from the region. So if you're looking for a train journey that's as luxurious as it is scenic, the Rocky Mountaineer is the ticket. Just be prepared to shell out a few clams, cause this ride ain't for folks on a shoestring budget. Next stop on our cross-continent adventure, Amtrak's Coast Starlight. This ain't just a train ride, folks. It's a journey from the Emerald City all the way to the City of Angels. We're talking Seattle to Los Angeles, with a front row seat to the rugged beauty of the Pacific coastline. And when I say rugged beauty, I ain't exaggerating. We're talking towering redwood forests, cliffs that plunge into the crashing waves and beaches so pristine you'll swear you've stepped into a postcard. Keep your eyes peeled for whales, sea lions, and maybe even a bald eagle or two. Now this ain't no highfalutin champagne wishing luxury train. The Coast Starlight is about connecting with the soul of America, one rail at a time. You'll meet folks from all walks of life, from wide-eyed tourists to seasoned travelers with stories that'll make your head spin. And that's the beauty of it, folks. It's a chance to slow down, disconnect from the daily grind, and appreciate the simple pleasure of watching the world go by. So grab a cup of coffee, settle into your seat, and get ready for a front row seat to America's backyard. All right, folks, buckle up because we're about to embark on a journey that's about as Canadian as a moose wearing a hockey jersey. This is the Canadian, a transcontinental train ride that'll whisk you from Toronto, Ontario, all the way to Vancouver, British Columbia. Now I've driven a lot of miles in my life, but even I gotta admit 4,466 kilometers is a heck of a road trip. That's why hopping on the Canadian is a no brainer. You'll be chugging along for four days and four nights, and trust me, you won't be bored. You'll see everything from the vast prairies of Manitoba to the towering peaks of the Canadian Rockies. And the best part? You can enjoy all this scenery from the comfort of your cozy cabin or the panoramic dome car. Now I'm not saying you're going to see a beaver building a dam or anything, but keep your eyes peeled for wildlife. You might spot a bear, a moose, or even a majestic bald eagle soaring overhead. And speaking of soaring, let's talk about the food. The Canadian is known for its delicious meals all prepared fresh on board with local ingredients whenever possible. So, if you're looking for an epic train journey that'll take you through the heart of Canada, the Canadian is the way to go. Just be prepared to say A a lot, and don't forget to pack your camera. You're gonna need it. Let's face it, there are some things in life you just gotta see to believe. The Grand Canyon is one of them. And what better way to experience this natural wonder of the world than on a train that's been chugging along since 1901? That's right, folks. We're talking about the Grand Canyon Railway, 
a historic train ride that'll take you straight to the south rim of one of the most awe-inspiring sights on this planet. Now, I've seen my share of holes in the ground, but the Grand Canyon is in a league of its own. It's 277 miles long, up to 18 miles wide, and a mile deep. You could drop the entire Empire State Building in there and still have room for the Chrysler Building on top. It's that big, and riding the Grand Canyon Railway is like stepping back in time to a more elegant era. You'll ride in restored vintage rail cars, complete with plush seats and big old windows perfect for soaking in those canyon views. And speaking of soaking things in, keep an eye out for the strolling musicians who'll serenade you with classic tunes. They even have characters dressed up in period costumes, adding to that authentic Wild West vibe. Listen, if you're looking for a unique way to experience the Grand Canyon, the Grand Canyon Railway is a ride you won't soon forget. Just be prepared for some serious jaw-dropping moments when you lay eyes on that canyon. It's a real humdinger. All right, folks, if you're looking for a train journey that's a little off the beaten path, then pack your bags and grab your long underwear because we're headed north to Alaska. This is the Alaska Railroad, a scenic route that'll take you from Anchorage to Fairbanks right through the heart of the last frontier. Now, I've been all over this great country, but there's something special about Alaska. It's wild, it's rugged, and it's full of surprises. And the Alaska Railroad gives you a front row seat to all of it. You'll see towering glaciers, sparkling rivers, and dense forests teeming with wildlife. Keep your eyes peeled for bears, moose, caribou, and maybe even a glimpse of the elusive lynx. And speaking of elusive, good luck getting cell service out here. But hey, that's part of the beauty of Alaska, right? It forces you to disconnect from the world and reconnect with nature. Listen, if you want a train journey that's truly unforgettable, hop aboard the Alaska Railroad. Just remember to pack your sense of adventure and don't forget your bug spray. Those Alaskan mosquitoes are no joke. All right, folks, saddle up for number six on our list of epic train journeys, Amtrak's California Zephyr. This ain't your grandpappy's commuter train. This is a coast-to-coast -coast odyssey from the windy city of Chicago all the way to the Golden Gate Bridge. Now, I've driven this route a time or two, and let me tell you, it's a haul. But on the Zephyr, you can kick back, relax, and let the scenery do the work. We're talking about a journey through the heartland of America, folks. Rolling plains, towering mountains, deserts that stretch as far as the eye can see. You'll witness the beauty of the Rockies and the Sierra Nevada, all from the comfort of your seat. And speaking of seats, they recline way back, not like those cramped airline seats that leave you feeling like a pretzel. Plus, you've got the observation car, a glass-domed haven where you can soak in panoramic views and pretend you're in an old-timey movie. You know, the kind where Cary Grant orders a martini while wearing a tuxedo. Speaking of drinks, the Zephyr has a dining car serving up hot meals and cold beverages because what's a train journey without a little indulgence, right? So if you're looking for a true American adventure, a journey that's as much about the experience as it is about the destination, then hop aboard the California Zephyr. You might just find yourself rediscovering the romance of train travel, one mile and one stunning vista at a time. Now, for those of you who like your train journeys with a little more, shall we say excitement, I give you number seven, the White Pass and Yukon route. This ain't your average leisurely train ride, folks. This is a narrow gauge railroad clinging to the side of a mountain in Alaska. Yeah, you heard me right, Alaska. We're talking steep grades, sharp curves, and views that'll make your head spin. This railroad was built back in the days of the Klondike Gold Rush, so you know it's seen its fair share of adventure. Imagine those prospectors, risking it all for a chance at striking it rich, riding these very rails. It's enough to give you a serious case of gold fever, just thinking about it. But even if you're not after gold, the scenery alone is worth the price of admission. You'll wind your way through dense forests, past cascading waterfalls, and get up close and personal with glaciers that have been around since the last ice age. And if you're lucky, you might even spot some wildlife along the way. Bears, eagles, maybe even a moose or two. So if you're feeling adventurous and you're not afraid of heights, then book yourself a ticket on the White Pass and Yukon route. Just be sure to pack your sense of adventure, your camera, and maybe a barf bag, just in case those curves get a little too exciting.
All right, folks, we're chugging along on our epic train journey. And at number eight, we've got a real humdinger Amtrak's Empire Builder. Now this ain't just a train ride, it's a trip back in time. This route follows the path of the Great Northern Railway, a true feat of engineering that connected the Midwest to the Pacific Northwest. We're talking about a journey that spans nearly 2,200 miles, from the bustling metropolis of Chicago to the Emerald City of Seattle, with an optional detour to Portland, Oregon. And when I say Emerald City, I mean it literally, folks. You'll see more shades of green on this trip than a leprechaun's wallet. But the Empire Builder isn't just about pretty scenery, it's about history. This train was named after James J. Hill, the man who built the Great Northern Railway. They called him the Empire Builder because he dreamed big and he built big. And riding this train, you'll get a sense of the scale and grandeur of his vision. So if you're looking for a train journey that's both scenic and historic, a journey that'll take you through the heart of America and leave you with a newfound appreciation for the pioneers who came before us, then hop aboard the Empire Builder. Just be sure to pack a good book, because with views like this, you'll want to savor every minute of the ride. Buckle up, folks. We're chugging through the San Juan Mountains on the Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad. This ain't your typical Amtrak commute. It's a historic track from 1882, once a lifeline for miners hauling silver and gold. Today, it's a ticket to a bygone era. Steam locomotives scream adventure. The hiss, the clang, the coal smoke. It's like stepping back in time. And the scenery? Breathtaking. Towering peaks, waterfalls, dense forests. Keep an eye out for wildlife, elk, bighorn sheep, maybe even a bear. The Durango and Silverton Railroad isn't for the faint of heart. Steep grades, tight curves, and bridges over deep ravines. It's all part of the adventure. The engineers know these tracks well. Generations of expertise. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Arriving in Silverton, you'll see why this journey is special. It's more than a train ride. It's a journey through history, a testament to American ingenuity. Okay, folks, let's trade the mountain vistas for a whole lot of desert and a heaping helping of Americana because we're hopping aboard Amtrak's Southwest Chief. This ain't your grandpa's cross-country train trip, though I bet your grandpa would have loved it. This is a two-day, 2,266-mile 2 odyssey from the heart of Chicago to the glitz and glamour of Los Angeles. Now, I know what you're thinking, Mike. Two days on a train? That's a lot of time to kill, and you're not wrong. But that's kind of the beauty of it, you see? This ain't about rushing from point A to point B. This is about slowing down, disconnecting from the daily grind, and appreciating the vastness and diversity of this great country of ours. We're talking about watching the sun rise over the endless plains of Kansas, seeing the mighty Mississippi River roll by, and gazing out at the iconic red rock formations of New Mexico and Arizona. You'll witness firsthand the changing landscapes of eight states, from bustling cities to sleepy towns, from fertile farmlands to desolate deserts. And along the way, you'll meet folks from all walks of life, families on vacation, retirees living their best life, maybe even a few characters with stories that'll make your hair stand on end. It's a crash course in Americana, all from the comfort of your train car. So grab a drink, settle in, and prepare to be amazed by the sheer scale and beauty of the American Southwest. All right, folks, let's be honest. Sometimes a hardworking American just needs a little pampering, and there's no better place to indulge than on the Napa Valley wine train. This ain't your typical commuter rail, folks. This is a rolling feast for the senses, a luxurious journey through the heart of California's wine country. Now, I'm not saying you gotta be a sommelier to appreciate this trip. Heck, I'm a plumber at heart. But if you enjoy a good glass of wine and a breathtaking view, well, you're in for a real treat. We're talking about vintage rail cars, white tablecloth service, and a menu featuring the freshest local ingredients, all paired perfectly with, you guessed it, some of the finest wines Napa Valley has to offer. And as you glide through rolling vineyards and charming towns, you'll have plenty of opportunities to sample the local vintages. Many wineries offer tours and tastings specifically for train passengers, so you can hop off, stretch your legs, and learn a thing or two about the winemaking process. Don't worry, they'll even hold the train for you if you overindulge. Just kidding, folks. Maybe. 
But here's the thing about the Napa Valley Wine Train. It's more than just a boozy brunch on wheels. It's a celebration of the good life, a chance to slow down, savor the moment, and appreciate the finer things in life. So grab a glass, raise a toast to the California sunshine, and let the good times roll. Cheers to that. All right, folks, buckle up, because we're about to hop on Amtrak's Adirondack, a train ride that's about as scenic as a postcard. This bad boy runs from New York City all the way to Montreal, Canada. The real star of the show here is the scenery. We're talking about the Hudson River Valley and the Adirondack Mountains. Catch this ride in the fall, and you'll understand why they call it peak season. It hugs the Hudson River, chugs past historic towns, and even tiptoes across the Canadian border. If you're itching for a scenic escape, the Adirondack might be just the ticket. All right, folks, forget your fancy bullet trains and your high-speed rails. We're about to step back in time with the Cass Scenic Railroad, a real live steam engine chugging through West Virginia's Appalachian Mountains. This ain't no Disney ride, folks. This is the real deal. Hauling lumber and coal since the early 1900s, stories in its rivets, history in its smokestack, climbing over 11,000 feet through rugged terrain, wind past towering trees, babbling brooks, and maybe a black bear. That sweet, smoky aroma of coal and steam. The Cass Scenic Railroad is calling your name. Pack your sense of adventure. Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to embark on a cross-country odyssey aboard Amtrak Sunset Limited. From the humid bayous of New Orleans to the sun-drenched shores of Los Angeles, a 42-hour, 2,728-mile trek through America, through the Texas plains, past sprawling cattle ranches, the desert hits you like a ton of bricks, and finally, the California coast with swaying palm trees. Amtrak Sunset Limited, a true American adventure from start to finish. All right, folks, buckle up, because number 15 on our epic train journey list takes us straight up the side of a mountain. I'm talking about the Mount Washington Cog Railway in New Hampshire. This ain't your grandma's Sunday drive. Built in 1869, it's the world's first mountain climbing cog railway. A steam-powered, gear-grinding beast conquering the highest peak in the Northeast, crawling up at three miles per hour. Could you walk up a 6,300-foot mountain at a 35-degree incline? Feel every chug, wheeze, and puff of steam. The view from the top? Simply breathtaking. Next stop on our transcontinental tour, Amtrak's Cardinal Line. This isn't a bullet train, it's a three-day, one 147-mile odyssey. From New York City to Chicago, through the Appalachian and Blue Ridge Mountains, it's not for those in a hurry. Known for delays, but that's part of the charm. Life's about the journey, not the destination. Winding through picturesque landscapes, rolling hills, dense forests, and sparkling rivers. And tunnels, lots of tunnels. It's more than a ride, it's an experience. Meet interesting folks along the way. Hold on to your hats, folks, because our next train adventure takes us to the heart of the Southwest. I'm talking about the Verde Canyon Railroad, a four-hour excursion through Arizona's otherworldly landscape. This is a journey meant for savoring like a cold glass of lemonade on a scorching summer day. The Verde Canyon Railroad is all about taking it slow and soaking in the scenery. We're talking towering red rock formations, ancient cliff dwellings, and desert beauty. The train follows the Verde River, offering glimpses of hidden waterfalls and wildlife. Sometimes the best way to experience a place is to slow down, sit back, and let the train do the driving. Well, folks, we've made it to the Lone Star State, where everything is bigger, including the train rides. We're talking Amtrak's Texas Eagle, a steel stallion that'll haul you from Chicago to San Antonio. You'll see everything from the rolling hills of the Ozarks to the wide open spaces of Texas Hill Country. The scenery ain't the only thing that'll fill you up on this ride. Amtrak knows how to feed a hungry traveler with hearty portions of good old-fashioned American cuisine. You get to sit back, relax, and let the world go by. The Texas Eagle ain't just a train ride, folks. It's an experience. All right, folks, buckle up, 
because we're about to hop on the Cumbras and Toltec Scenic Railroad, a testament to a bygone era of railroading. This ain't your high-speed bullet train, no sir. We're talking narrow-gauge tracks, steam engines huffing and puffing, and a whole lot of history etched into every mile of this journey. Imagine, if you will, the year 1880. The Wild West is still wild, and folks are looking for a way to connect the silver mines of the San Juan Mountains to the rest of the world. Enter the Cumbras and Toltec, a feat of engineering that conquered some of the most unforgiving terrain imaginable. Today, you and I get to ride the rails just like those hardy souls did over a century ago. We're talking breathtaking vistas of the Rocky Mountains, towering pines, and maybe even a glimpse of some wildlife if we're lucky. And don't forget those trestles, folks. This railroad boasts some of the highest and longest trestles in the country. So sit back, relax, and let the rhythmic chug of the steam engine lull you into a different time. This ain't just a train ride, folks. It's a journey through history. Well, folks, trade in your work boots for something a little more comfortable because we're about to embark on a journey that'll take us from the hustle and bustle of the Big Apple all the way down to the heart of the Deep South. That's right, we're talking about Amtrak's Crescent, a train ride that's as diverse as the country it traverses. We'll start our journey amidst the skyscrapers and energy of New York City, but before you know it, the urban jungle will give way to the rolling hills and verdant forests of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Now I've climbed my fair share of mountains in my day, and let me tell you, Nothing beats gazing out the window at those majestic peaks as they roll by. But the scenery's just the beginning, folks. As we venture further south, we'll be greeted by the charm and hospitality that the south is known for. Picture this. You're sitting in the observation car, sipping on some sweet tea, and watching the world go by. It's enough to make you forget all about the daily grind. By the time we reach our final destination of New Orleans, will have witnessed firsthand the incredible diversity and beauty of this great nation. And that, my friends, is what makes train travel so darn special. Well, folks, there you have it. 20 epic train journeys across North America. We've seen mountains that'll take your breath away, deserts that stretch as far as the eye can see, and everything in between. We've talked about history, engineering, and the sheer joy of experiencing this great land of ours from the comfort of a train car. Now, I know what you're thinking. Did your favorite train journey make the cut? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and maybe share this video with a fellow train enthusiast or two. But before you go, I've got one last question for you. What's the most unusual, the most head scratching, the most what in the world? Thing you've ever seen on a train journey? Share your stories in the comments. Until next time, folks, keep those wheels turning and those adventures rolling.